Okay, well, welcome back to uh, another episode of Bailiwick Fishing. Glad to see you've joined. If you uh, are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and if you're existing, then thanks for the continued support. Right, well, today we're going to be going bass law fishing. We're at one of my old haunts, uh, somewhere I used to fish a long, long time ago, and it can be quite a good mark. Um, today we've got a southwesterly wind, so uh, we're going to try and shelter a little bit from that. I'm going to give you a run through of the uh, tackle I'm going to be taking and uh, before we get down there and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get you some fish. Right, so the rod I'm using today is the one you see quite often, which is the Savage Gear SGS4 Precision Law Rod. We've gone with a fixed spool, pen pursuit, 20 pound mono line, straight down to a clip swivel. And today I'm going to start with the, let me just get a better view for you. Pachinko 125. So we've got the trebles on there, but I've also got a couple with um, the single hooks. So we'll try that. We're going to be using the Savage Gears um, laws as well. I'm going to be taking the Tronics Pro backpack today. Got a, oh, there's a couple of squid jigs in there from the last time. There's a book in here which is quite interesting. I always keep it in here because it's something that when I'm down the beach, if I don't know something, I kind of I can I can have a look in this book, and it's a it's a really good book. So it's um. Eat the beach, shows all the shellfish, seaweed, plants, and all that sort of thing. There's also some recipes. So again, you can see brown crabs, spider crabs, all the sort of stuff that you, you know, some of you don't know, and even me. So uh, yeah, great asset to my uh, my channel, that. So that belongs in there. We've got the standard GoPro batteries today. I brought the GoPro 10, so that's what you're on. You've got the wind snood on as well today. So we're gonna be taking that here. That's gonna be going in, just like so. I've just brought a couple of assorted assortments of laws. They're a bit scabby, these ones. There's a Pachenko there, single hooks, and there's another one there. And um, there's a couple of other little things in here. Clip swivels are tech. Make sure that's on properly. That goes in there. And then we got just a couple of soft laws today because uh, it's quite shallow ground, very, very rocky. So uh, we're fishing the tide up. It's going to be two hours before, well, wow, Two and a half hours before high water. It's very rocky ground. I doubt we'll use softs. It's going to be mostly um, casting over weed and uh, very shallow rough ground. So I uh, doubt we'll be using these, but we'll take them just in case. Right. Must be there, look. Got my chest harness for the, uh, the uh, point of view action. And I'm also going to bring the tripod so this stands up about this high i like to give you a show of the gear that you, you can basically see behind the scenes of my channel you can see all what i do and this is what i stand up on and you sometimes will get a view from that so yeah we're now going to get the lock the old van up get the backpack on and get down there so i'll see you in a minute i'm also in the team vast wellies today as i've showed you before i don't know if you could see that but I've got the studs on the bottom so you get a bit of extra grip when you're walking along the rocks, especially if they've got seaweed on, they tend to dig in. Anyway, this rod here, I forgot to say, it's a, a 10 to 45 gram and it's nine foot six. Now you'll notice if I stop, the eyelets are very close to one another. That's because you get the most um, precision with the law. So when you're casting, I can literally throw it like a professional darts player. Where I'm pointing the, the rod like that, so point of view, that law is going directly in front of us. It's absolutely fantastic. I never believed any of this. I thought, oh yeah, what a gimmick. But until you try it, don't knock it, because it's one of the best rods I've used. The pen pursuit is obviously up there, but this is on par. Anyway, we've got a short little walk down here. Now, today, there is a few showers around. Um, hopefully we don't get too wet or anything like that. But it's a bit overcast, and that's what I like when I'm going bass fishing. It's, I, I don't like the sunshine. So for me, these, wet, the, these conditions, overcast, bit of a chop in the sea, should be pretty good, hopefully. Uh, the only thing I will say about this, Mark, is that in the, oh yeah, it looks good, but I've just spotted a seal. There is a seal in there. I've just spotted him. So yeah, this is what I was gonna say. So this is Southwesterly Beach and that is a real nuisance that. Now you, well, you, most people would turn around and go and I would usually, but we're gonna go and give it a whirl. So yeah, this is Southwesterly Beach and in here, the seals come in when to shelter basically and that is one there. 
so that's a flipping nuisance but and really I should be going back that way but I'm committed so hopefully he hasn't eaten them all okay so we're just at the uh, latter end of the getting to the mark so this is a bit of a Guernsey history this because this is a little slipway they built um, in the war you can see it's uh, duck around here but yeah this is a little slip so they would have used it um, years and years ago it's a tiny little beach I mean, look at all that wrack and seaweed that's been washed off here with those gales but yeah this is where we're going to be fishing off today we're going off these rocks here and I'm literally going to be casting boom straight out so we're going to work our way around 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 I'll probably go around there first because the tide's coming up I want to make sure I don't get cut off around here if this doesn't pan out guys if we don't get any fish and that seal was a bit of a menace if he's got a big fat belly then we're not going to hang around here long we'll make our way to another mark and uh hopefully if we can find you something so we're going to clamber up these rocks one thing i'll say to you and i'll say it in every video if you're going down the beach make sure you tell people where you're going my family are all aware where i go they know most of my fishing spots uh, well certainly all, all of the ones I go to alone uh, make sure you you know you tell people what time you're expecting to get back and uh, that way if you do go missing they know where to start looking for you but yeah this place is full of gullies like this and uh, lots of weed beds right I need to get up here without slipping now I'll give you a show of this place a bit better this rock here I'm going to be going on onto there you can get on that rock which is good but I'm going to be going down here and where all these gulls are as I say you can see all that seaweed that's just on the surface down there you'll see it a bit closer when I get down and that's what the bass are hiding in they're looking for cover they're looking for gullies there's Mr Seal can you see him sticking his head up in the air probably laughing at me and he's just popped back under so yeah it's not a good start to see that but hey ho we gotta try. You are gonna be with me from the very first cast. You're on my chest harness. And hopefully, I can't remember if this is the law with the hole in it or not. So we'll give it a cast out. I'll see how it retrieves. I might have to switch to the other ones. We shall see. Right, first cast, here we go. I think this might be the one that had the, uh, the hole in it and was sinking rather than floating. So I just pinged it out, it's about 50 foot. And simple retrieve is gonna be just like so few few twitches few taps now literally i am just fishing over the top of the uh the seaweed that's standing up down there we we'll try to walk the dog which is surface laws which is just up like this oh there's a big swirl behind that law that's Oh, fish on guys, fish on. That didn't take, oh, he's taking line. He's taking line, what's this fish? It's a bass, come on. Let's get him out of the camp. Look at the bend in this rod. Oh, I saw the swirl, look at this. Check this out, let's get him out of the camp. Oh, come on. Don't want to lose him. That's a lovely fish. Check that out guys, first cast and we have a bass, woo woo, beauty, we're going to get a picture of that, what a beautiful fish, he smashed the Pachenko, he smashed it, we'll get a view of that, oh buzzing with that, just let me sort myself out, oh, I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to give you a show of that. That was not far out. And that's exactly the ground that I said these fish would be in. Look at that. He has engulfed that Pachenko. He smashed it. That is a beautiful fish. Check that beauty out. What a fine fish that is. Lovely bass taken on the Pachenko top surface lure. Anyway, we're gonna get a release of this fish now. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a show. Right, well, I hope everyone's uh, enjoying that so far certainly that was a nice uh, 
fish to have just down there so i'm gonna have another cast out oh, second second cast here we go see if we can get another one beauty so what was i saying before what we do is this walk the dog i saw the swirl behind the the lure and i knew something was going on absolutely smash that there's the seal over there for you i don't know if you can see it in the distance just over there he's poking his head around eating all the fish oh <laughs> did you see that guys there is fish everywhere oh my goodness let's get back out that was a take they're hiding in the kelp here you know it it really is amazing i'm going to just tighten up my drag because uh i missed that so it seems that all the fish are sheltering in this little bay and uh, as i say it's one of my old haunts i've fished here so many times and i've caught so many fish in here I'm watching that surface door. They're so close in, they're following it. And you, all you're waiting, wanting to do with this surface law is mimic a fish that's in distress, or a bait fish that's in distress, shall we say. So the, mi the more you can make it look injured and in distress, the more the bass are gonna take prey. There's some rollers coming in now and hopefully the fish are hiding behind them as well. Now because this is a gully here, what's happening is the fish are swimming up and, well the bait fish are swimming up and down the gully and basically the bass are just waiting at the end of the gully for the fish to, uh, for the bait fish to come. So they're literally just sitting there and waiting for their food. And you know when it's a bass because you get a massive swirl with their paddle tail when they're like uh, at the end of the law and they turn off at the last minute Ooh. we'll cast over there you can see I'm making a I do like a ticking clock I do a bit over there a bit over here and a bit everywhere and again about 50 foot and simply as soon as it lands I am walking that surface law on top of the water you can see here point of view I'll angle it up a bit and simply reeling and giving the keeping the law out the water for surface just giving the rod a few reels and a few pauses and a bit of this and a bit of that and it's working we want to get another one though fish on again fish on again oh there's a big swell behind the old uh no oh, you beauty Big swell behind the law is slapping around here. What is this? It's a bass. You beauty, look at the bend in that rod. It's getting smashed. You beauty. I saw the swell. I gave it a bit of a strike. It's kiting everywhere. Where are we gonna land this fish? Yeah, it's trying to stay down. Come on. Come on. Bass number two. They're all in the kelp. Can we land this fish? Oh, this one looks a better one. This is a better one. This is a better fish. Beauty. Bass number two. Well guys, I'm absolutely ecstatic. That is two fish in the space of, what, 15 minutes. I need to be careful because I need to make sure I can get back up. The rock's behind us. I'm gonna give you a show of this bass in a second. That is an absolute beautiful bass. There's another one I've just caught on the surface lure, on the Pachenko. What a lure. We're gonna get a release of him right now. Keep watching. Wow, what a session this is. You ready guys? Here he goes. Straight back down, look at that. Fantastic. Get you back on the serve, uh, on the chest harness. Let's get another one. Beautiful. Just a quite a dopey bass guys. It, <laughs> it, it tried to take it twice the law, missed it. I think it needs lessons in uh, coordination. Anyway, it was in quite close. So uh, 
I'll see if I can hook him up this time. So he was a bit, a uh, bit shy on the old uh, jumping. Let's see if I can get him again. Okay, so the waves are getting a little bit crispy behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this on here, safety first. And I'm going to pack my bag away. We're going to just move over the, just over here. So just, just here, and we're going to cast into there. So if we can find anything in the shallows, because there's a big U shape here and the fish could be collecting in here, but I can't fish here anymore because it's too dangerous. So we're going to move. Well, I thought of no better place than to say thank you for watching today. I hope you can hear me with the sea in the background. But it's been a fantastic session. So I had those two bass on the uh, Savage Gear SG S4 Law Specialist. Both were caught on a surface door Pachenko 125. Uh, both over rough ground, both not overly that far out. Um, very kelpy on the bottom here. And uh, yeah, it's been a great session. I'm pleased I came out, the seal didn't interfere with us too much. And uh, all was well in the end so if you've enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you put, hit the subscribe button check out my instagram check out my facebook check out tiktok check it all out share with your family and friends and we'll see you next time it's bailiwick fishing